Hi, I'm Fred Weeble Jr. and uh, the artist of these two works, The Purple Woman and The Purple Palette. Now, The Purple Woman is kind of a portrait of a person that I knew in uh, Baltimore. And I, I really liked her artwork and we used to work on some projects together. And at the time, um, she was just starting a methadone program. And um, I was, uh, you know, surprised really that, that uh, she was, um, had been addicted for all these years. She always wore long sleeve shirts and things. And then one day, I looked at her arms and they looked like lions had clawed them. She used to make jokes about she used to work at the zoo and the lions got her one time. Well, in a way, that's kind of pretty, you know, true. But anyway, um, the painting itself, uh, she always seemed to give off this, this uh, purple glow about her. And this is before any of this uh, had, you know, really come to pass. And so I did this purple uh, painting and it's really an unusual painting even for me. Uh, I really like the softness of it and that sort of brought about uh, some of the um, soft side of her which was uh, such a uh, dichotomy of hardness and softness and the whole thing and um, as we um, developed our relationship really um, as working artists. She um, seemed to do more and more with her artwork and I told her how to, uh, taught her how to make her collages look a lot better for scanning and then printing and, and after a while uh, she started, uh, we started making prints and, and putting her in little shows that I did as well and, and that she did, started doing down in Baltimore and eventually she uh, caught the attraction of uh, a local gallery and they uh, did a nice exhibit of her work and from then on she uh, used her artwork really to to bring her about as a, into more of a normal life and bring herself out. And eventually she uh, reduced her um, methadone down to the bare minimum uh, and which was very good for her because her whole life was just centered around having to go into the clinic every day and it made it very difficult call to live but then as now I hope, I haven't heard from her for a while, but now I hope that she, her life has been released where she can travel and, and spend a night somewhere or, or, or just go out of town or whatever and, and, and um, hopefully uh, she used her artwork to really bring herself back and, and I thought that was just a tremendous thing. So, And the other painting, the purple palette, was was what I was cleaning my brushes on to do the other paint, the purple woman, and then I started to see things in, in there and uh, flowers and, and unusual uh, things started to develop so I worked up that, that palette into uh, another painting and it was just sort of related to the, the whole purple deal. Which, uh, I like purple anyway. <laughs> Thank you.